Iodine is a chemical element with the symbol I in atomic number 53. It's the heaviest of the stable halogens and it exists as a semi-lustrous non-metallic solid at standard conditions. It melts to form a deep violet liquid at 114 Celsius and boils to a violet gas at 184 degrees Celsius. Being the heaviest mineral nutrient, iodine is required for the synthesis of thyroid hormones and iodine deficiency affects about 2 billion people. It's the leading cause of preventable intellectual disabilities and iodine is my favorite element. I'll be making iodine in this video because at least where I live, it's really hard to find. This is because of its use in the production of methamphetamine. In any case, first, I set my beaker on a scale and dump in all of my potassium iodide. After measuring it out, I add it all into a separate beaker and then add an equal amount of water. In my case, I add in 26 milliliters, but you can use any amount as long as they're equal. Now, I just need to wait for it to all dissolve, and I make sure to swirl it around, cause it makes me feel cool. After it dissolves, I add in my favorite drink that you can get at the caustic section in a hardware store, hydrochloric acid. This reacts with the potassium iodide to make potassium chloride, and I believe hydrogen gas is liberated in the process. But now what we need to do is oxidize the iodide, which is soluble in water, to its insoluble form. So I set this aside and prepare the next part, which is hydrogen peroxide. To find the amount I need, I add in five times the amount of the original stuff in hydrogen peroxide. And at this moment I realized that I didn't have big enough beakers, so I'll have to add in the original stuff to the hydrogen peroxide in two parts. But that's okay, because it doesn't affect my final product. Wait for around 10 minutes to let all of the iodine settle out to the bottom. Now all I need to do is pour out the liquid layer at the top and all of the wet iodine should stay at the bottom. Here's my final product and it's just some wet iodine, so I need to dry it out. But before I do that, I react it with some magnesium just for the fun of it. And I guess without further ado, thanks for watching.